right. So, uh, so you may have already seen me make meatloaf before, but uh, today's episode of Cooking with Honest Gas is going to revolve mainly around actually writing down the ingredients and how much, and uh, uh, then I can write a instructions for it. So let me get a fresh page here. Where's my pencil? Huh. Of course I'm not ready. Jeez. I have my pencil. Young Barkley, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, so let me just write down here real quick. Uh, what, are, what am I saying for? I said... Cooking with honest gas meatloaf, uh, in number one. Cooking with honest gas uh, meatloaf, uh, number two. All right, so in this one, I did three pounds of beef, so it's also three pounds of beef here. Uh, so LB beef. Let's take a look. Uh, lemon juice. Um, I actually have probably measured that now that I think about it. Uh, so I'm going to take a wild ass guess and say one cup of lemon juice. It says a half cup there, so I'm going to say one cup here. So, um, so what I've done here is I've actually marinated the vegetables in lemon juice. Uh, so the last time I did a batch, or sorry, the two times ago when I did a batch, uh, I added lemon juice for one of the, I think the first time. And uh, over the course of the few days, uh, the lemon juice was actually being soaked up by the uh, bell pepper and onions. And so it gave this like lemon tang, a very delicious lemon tang in the meatloaf and it accents oddly very well with the pepperoni so um uh pepperoni and a1 sauce it, it's really delicious uh so now i actually marinate my vegetables in lemon juice before i get uh everything going so uh so let's see now the last batch was 15 ounces this is 15 ounces of A1 sauce, and the last batch wasn't enough, so I'm going to just go ahead and do 30 ounces of uh, A1 sauce in this batch, just because I can and I want to give it a try. So let's do that in here. 30, huh? Let, let's, let's make 30 is a lot. Maybe 25. Let's just go ahead and do 30. So, so I'm writing down 30 ounces for this batch, which is batch number two. The first batch, my note was not enough veggies and not enough A1 sauce. So uh, I might even do more cheese. Let's also write that down. More cheese. And uh, I probably did enough milk. Oh, I guess I'm doing more milk. Cup. All right, so it says a third cup of uh, Worcestershire. Shire, Shire. Uh, so I guess I have to pour this in. Oh, we'll figure that out next, actually. Let's just write that down. Man, that's such a big name. Or just 
cup shredded cheese. Let's just go with. I may mean, as well just stuff the whole thing in there. So that's eight ounces, and I'm gonna guess it's eight ounces, three ounces. Uh, it's eleven ounces. I said a half cup of Parmesan. Uh, I'm just going to write it down and we'll do a measurement in a minute. All right. All the colors of the vegetables. So I uh, measured this bag here. This is four cups of vegetables and lemon juice. Got to run, but it was nice to hear your voice. Take care. Hey, it was good seeing you, young Barkley. Um, I'm more or less just documenting. This is going to be like a practice run for uh, doing my... Uh, I want to do a video of like a, a kitchen setting, you know, and like, hey, Honest Gas, uh, cooking with Honest Gas. So hopefully that'll be okay. So four cups of... Carbonated bell peppers and onion. Okay. I'm marry the bell peppers. All right. And uh, we're going to go with 12 ounces of pepperoni this batch. So, 12 ounce pepperoni. A sleeve of vegetable baked Ritz crackers. Of vegetable baked Ritz. All right. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. I guess I don't have garlic powder with me. Um, I might later go get some, but let's get started on putting this in here. So I'm going to set some stuff aside. Set some stuff aside. Now, the really cool thing that I discovered recently is that um, I was mixing all my stuff in uh, I discovered that if you do it long enough fat accumulates on the bag so I I went ahead and and uh, massaged this uh, meat here a little bit before uh, actually I might do some of the mixing here so I got a cup of milk Fifteen ounces of A1 sauce so far. And thirty total. So 30 ounces, two large bottles of A1 sauce. All right, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do the Worcestershire Shire Shire. I know I'm saying it wrong, but I guess I'm right. So the lid, a third cup, I think. Yeah, a third cup. Let's go with, let's go with, let's see what a third looks like first. There's a fourth.
Half. I think a half should do just fine. Half cup. Is that a half? Oh, that's a half. Oh, no. So it dripped on my book. Uh, let's see here. So half cup. Or shire, 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 shire. Okay, uh, I've got all the liquids. Let's also put the vegetables in there. There, since that is also the liquids. Okay, I better do this over a bowl. Just fine. Throw that one away. Hmm. Yeah, I may as well just put it in a bowl. Put it in the bowl. Wow, that was unpleasant. Kids may be watching. I know I'm gonna make a big old mess. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. Okay. Okay. This is uh, not going well so far, but we'll see after it's all ground up, I guess. I haven't even added the Parmesan cheese or the crackers or the pepperoni or anything. Yeah, in hindsight... I should probably have been mixing it as I went instead of doing it all at once, but whatever. Yeah, okay, it looks a little bit more uh, mixed up than it was a few minutes ago. Whew, it's a little liquidy, I might have to say, uh, but I'll have to remember that when I'm doing the actual video, because no doubt at all that this is going to take a few times to actually, like, like, uh, 
that it says on the piece of paper that it's going to be a consistent flavor of my what I what I mean yeah. I was going to say it does look a little better, but it's still a bit. It is pretty stupid. I, I put two whole bottles of uh, A1 sauce in there and like a cup of milk and a cup of Worcestershire. 30 ounces of A1 sauce. Uh, uh, four cups of lemon marinated bell peppers and onions. Uh, but there was like a cup of lemonade, uh, lemon juice in there. And uh, and so we haven't even added the crackers or anything like that. And even the cheese is already kind of stiffening it up. Uh, and uh, the Parmesan is great. Like, Parmesan doesn't seem to very well in the oven, uh, in the meatloaf. So it, it like, uh, it kind of retains its, um, uh, it, it doesn't melt into the cheese. It, uh, excuse me, I'm not to put my, my bowl here up in the camera. It doesn't melt it into the meat it um uh stays in shapes your tongue you're you're tasting straight up freaking parmesan mm. and a1 sauce is driving me nuts Moment, we'll do the sheet of the uh, pepperoni. I'm getting a good uh, consistency. Of course, the bottom is going to be really liquidy. Uh, that's why I tend to make it in a, a pan, and that way that I can catch all the li uh, sorry, keep all the liquids in the meat instead of draining it and, and that way i just mix it up with some mashed potatoes you know some of those idaho uh instant mashed potatoes and um just mix it up in there and just eat it like a mush like uh, eat it a little bit like a little forkful at a time yeah you can kind of see how There we go, that's a little better. That sound is so unsettling. See, I still managed to get some meat on my spoon, or sort of some fat on my spoon. So I kind of got a little uh, uh, hasty on this. Um, if you put, uh, if you mix some of your liquids together, I put all my liquids in there in not a big enough bag, so I wasn't able to demonstrate it very well. But if you put all your liquids in a bag and then uh, mix up the stuff in the bag, the fat accumulates on the on the wall of the bag, and uh, and I didn't have any of this fat accumulating on my spoon at all. Uh, and, um, so this time I didn't really do it very well. But I'm just saying, um, you know, once you get a good amount of fat on the wall of your bag, that's probably good to transfer to the bowl, so that uh, uh, you can get some of the fat out of the out of the um, you know, make it a little bit more lean. For this, I mean, the spoon's kind of taken some out, but the bag really takes a bunch out. All right, so let's take a look. Let's do let's do the Parmesan cheese. So let's see how much this is in here first. I'd say a cup. Yeah, just uh, just shy of a cup. So let's write that down. One cup Parmesan. So so far we've got the measurements that we need. Uh, three pounds beef, one cup lemon juice, three uh, thirty ounces A one sauce, um, half cup Worcestershire or Chestershire, whatever. Uh, Eleven ounces of cheese, one cup Parmesan, four cups of vegetables. One cup milk, twelve ounce pepperoni, and a sleeve of Ritz crackers. So uh, that is uh, the measurements for this batch. Um, and I think I might chill out a tiny bit 
on the that might be ever so slightly too much, but uh, I don't know if there's such a thing as too much A1 sauce. Big red for the thirstiest of those. Let's add the Parmesan. Shit, did I just break it? It certainly sounded like it. Chances are I will wear a silly grin the moment you come into me. So that is looking pretty darn good so far. Like, uh, probably my favorite part about getting the bell peppers is not only do they soak up all the delicious juices that are all inside, all the uh, the liquid of the uh, ingredients that you put in there, but they are also very colorful. I love the orange, the yellow. The green and uh, uh, red, I think, is the other one. And, of course, I've also got uh, yellow, purple, and white onions in there as well. And, and that adds even more color. So it, just, it doesn't have to just taste good. It also has to look good. You, you want it to look good as well. All right. So let's get our eggs in there. Oh, shit. I should have checked the, I should have checked the eggs. Let's see if this is okay. Egg looks fine. Oh, shit. What am I going to do with this? Oh. So, in this batch... Huh. Did I even... I don't think I did eggs on this. Uh, I know I did four eggs. This batch. We're going to do six. Because I did six in the one before the last one. And uh, uh, it didn't really seem all that bad. I did four in this one, and it really didn't do much of a difference, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back up to six for this batch. What the hell? I wrote in the wrong one. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I wish I was in a kitchen. That way I could wash my hands right away after. Oh, no. Oh. Am I still there? Oh, man. I hope it didn't miss too much. My freaking... I don't know why it keeps telling me the internet's bad, but because, uh, like, we've got amazing internet. It's just out here. It's hard for it to read, I guess. I don't know. Either way... Uh, damn it. Uh, do I have any towel? Maybe, maybe a napkin. So that if one of the eggs are bad, you don't ruin your whole thing. Let's go ahead and just dump them right up inside the uh, meat. I don't, I don't necessarily believe too much in actually like scrambling your eggs. I mean, you can; it's fine, and you might even whip them a little bit. That might, I guess, that would be good. Uh, I just like to uh, have multiple colors, like scrambled. But if you make the scrambled eggs, I like to make it where it's not uh, scrambled. Uh, in the in the in the thing here. <clears throat> What's all in there? We've got three pounds of ground beef, one uh, half cup lemon juice, fifteen ounces, which is uh, excuse me, I'm reading the wrong one. Three pounds of beef, one cup lemon juice, thirty ounces, which is two of these A1 bottles. Um. Half cup of Worcestershire sauce, a cup of Parmesan, uh, 11 ounces of shredded cheese. I did two different types. Uh, let's see here. Four cups of vegetables. I did all the bell peppers and onions, uh, and I marinated them in lemon juice overnight. Uh, and then a cup of milk and 12 ounces of pepperoni. Well, that's about to go in there. 
and a sleeve of vegetable baked fruits crackers, which are also about to go in. So let's mix these eggs in. Let's see here. Uh, that's a lot of eggs. Yeah, I think uh, uh, it's hard to put too many eggs in your meatloaf. You should feed an army with all that. Oh man, these this this so this batch in particular costs around forty dollars, uh, maybe a little closer to fifty dollars to make this batch. Um, but that's because I bought all the different colors of of bell peppers. You can always get just the green ones, which are like a third the price of the other ones, and uh, you don't have to get all the different colors of onions either. Um, and so you, you could spend as much as, uh, sorry, as little as 40 and as much as 60. Some of these bad because I bought two of these. So um, it's really hard to, uh, to determine how, exactly how much. But if you imagine if I'm eating this by myself and I eat a loaf, a, a, a personal loaf a day with mashed potatoes, this thing will last me uh for uh you know as long as the meat is good um and so uh this is a three pound batch so but i did put a lot in there i guess so this is really is a lot of food there and i'll probably eat it in about a week uh so you know 60 divided by 70. Uh, excuse me um by seven. Well, whoops uh Kind of meats that I use? Uh, eighty percent lean ground beef. I seldom use any eggs. Yeah, apparently there's like a whole lot of different ways you can make meatloaf, and uh, I didn't. I never read really a recipe. I just kind of took the base, uh, breading, um, meat, and uh, milk. I I mean I put milk in my meatloaf. I I don't know how many people put meat meat uh, milk in their meatloaf. Um. But this is definitely, I mean, if you're looking to have like a strong, sturdy, uh, hard loaf, like uh, you're probably not going to get that with as much liquids as there are in this meatloaf. I like to cook it in a pan so that it retains all the juices and then you can add those juices to the, to the uh, mashed potatoes. Really freaking good, uh, which is why it's important to get all the fat off of the meat. In the bag. Oh, uh, sell these eggs. I can see it's going to be really tender meatloaf. Oh, it, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty uh, malleable, that's for sure. So, uh, what I do, so I, I figured it, it took a few tries to figure out how the hell I was going to get the pepperoni taste into the meatloaf because uh, when I, I first did it, I was doing little slivers like that to uh to give it you know more um uh i guess a reach kind of thing or whatever but it really uh unless that pepperoni is touching your tongue you can't taste it and all it does is just turn the uh meatloaf red so what i do is i just do nice big pieces so that when you take a bite out of your meatloaf and there's some pepperoni in it that that piece is going to touch your tongue at some, at some point so let's go ahead and do the nice long process of cutting up this pepperoni. Don't get your fingers. Let's see if I've missed anything here. Yeah, a month, yeah. Just beef. Sometimes I use ground beef and ground pork. Hey, uh, that sounds pretty good. I haven't really tried a lot of uh, um, that sort of thing. Pepperoni is the big thing for my meatloaf. Now you're getting ideas. Hey, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't want anyone to think that I am the only one who is allowed to make this meatloaf. Uh, and it doesn't have to be exactly the way I make it. So, um, you know, it's if if nearly dying a few times has taught me anything, it's that delicious food is important 
in your life. And you can't just eat, you know, for the sake of eating. Uh, that is horribly depressing. Um, so it's just, I think uh, having delicious food is important. Pizza meatloaf. Yeah, I mean, certainly a lot of cheese in here. Um, and, you know, uh, since we're on the topic, there might be an argument to, that could be made that this really isn't meatloaf because um, because of it's so liquidy. But if you drain a lot of the liquid, just put that on a pan, uh, not a pan, but a, uh, a, a draining, uh, it can be a hard loaf. But most of the stuff melts out of the meatloaf. Like, I noticed there was a lot of cheese at the bottom of the drip pan. Uh that was inside the meatloaf and then uh, drip, you know, melted outside. So um, I just kind of make a sloppy mess of peas and, and uh, mashed potatoes and meatloaf. After I finish cutting up this bag, I'm gonna make. Yeah, for real, pepper uh, significantly increased the price of the ingredients. Well, it at least increases it. This one back down. I used to separate them like by hand and shit like that, but really the act of mixing uh, separates them all uh, on their own. So um, if you're seeing them clumpy, just mix it some more and they'll unclump. Yeah, it's still pretty liquid, but we haven't put any crackers in there yet. I don't think it's going to do a lot, but it'll do something. And I don't even mind it liquidy. I, um, like I said, I like the juices. I use it as a gravy. <clears throat> Goodness. So where are we all hailing from tonight? Yeah, sometimes I take a baking dish and put it erect uh, inside and make it with foil. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Ah. I'll totally use a, a foil next time. You're saying it just cooks in the foil, but it drains? I, I think that's a really good idea. I'm going to have to try that. I'm not going to be cooking any of this um, on camera tonight. Uh, this is more or less just I wanted to, I just, you know, I figured if I was going to do it, I may as well do it in front of a camera with everyone else, you know, so other people can watch. Because who in their right mind would keep this delicious slop to themselves? New York City, huh? Oh, my. Yeah, my friend uh, uh, is up there, and he's not, he's not doing, uh, you know, it's, he's saying... <laughs> Meatloaf's to death, yeah, for real. Oh gosh, did I like miss your? I guess I missed your comment there. That's how I cook it, but I was uh, meatloafed to death as a kid. Oh man, that's a shame. I'm telling. And the Ritz crackers. Apparently, not a lot of people use Ritz crackers for their stuff. I use Ritz crackers on my sandwiches. Oh, um, a friend of, sorry about that, my live straight from YouTube really apparently sucks, um, but what I was saying was that I have a friend up in New York, and, uh, and he's saying it's not doing, there's, it's not good up there, like, Just a little bit more to cut, and then I think that'll be a, uh, just about the end of mixing. Oh, my the Ritz crackers, right? Almost done here. 
then I gotta take down this table and clean up mess and do the dishes. Yeah, my, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I mean, I am in the garage, and I think that might have something to do with it, but I didn't really have a problem with it when I was using my XSplit. Uh, um, approving uh, the, uh, you know, I can't authorize my account through YouTube because Google turned off the, like they say it's not approved kind of thing. It's really aggravating. And that way I could play music and stuff like that. And with this, the music is not good because it's not computer, it's coming from the speakers. So it's not really a good sound. I'm using my uh, computer to do it. This is a webcam. I won't be able to do it on my phone. I would have do it. Uh, I would have done it on my phone, but uh, you can't apparently until you have like, oh, you're right, a thousand subscribers. All right, so. Now, um, just so you don't have to crush them by hand, you can actually, like, crush them in the bag. Now, I, I mean, I'm saying things that most people might know, but I'm also new at, like, doing it. I'm just trying to say what's on my mind. coming up on the end of the video. I've been eating all day. <clears throat> I've been kind of saving myself for this meatloaf. I certainly hope it inspired you guys to do your own thing. I'm really telling you guys, try bleh, try um, marinating your vegetables in lemon juice. I mean, it's probably not going to be good for everything, so like just you know, try it when it's something that would go really good with a lemon tang uh, every other bite. But uh, try marinating your vegetables in lemon juice. It's really fucking good. It's super delicious. Now, I had them marinating for about three days before I used them uh, this one particular time, or a couple times ago. Um, and they still didn't sog. I figured they would probably sog. Uh, because it's lemon juice and it kind of cooks it kind of thing, but it doesn't, it actually keeps its firm shape. Uh, it really only starts sogging after you cook it, uh, and, and it's been, um, in the fridge for a minute. So, uh, that's why I make loaves at a time so that I'm always eating a fresh, right out of the oven, uh, meatloaf. Yeah, so that, that looks about done. I'd say that's going to make probably at least a week's worth of food. Jeez, I mean, I feel kind of like a like a, I want to be a little generous and say go further than that, but I know I eat a lot of food. So um, I refuse. I like non-processed foods. Non-processed Oh, shit. 
freaking connection is unstable again. Are we back? Uh, I'm going to try that. I refuse that I like non-processed foods. Are, are bell peppers processed? Plus, you don't have to do it the same way this way. Oh, yeah. That is stuff. So I think I'm going to put it in a bag now. And it looks like the pepperoni is nice and separated. I don't see a lot of clumps. I don't see a lot of uh, clumps of cheese or clumps of egg. I think those are good too. Okay. Now my hand's pretty darn dirty. Hamburger helper? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, also mac and cheese and the hamburger helper didn't <laughs> get to the casserole. Now. I, uh, I really like to have, I just, I've never tried it. Um, uh, Maybe the next batch. I don't have any of that uh, with me right now. Yeah, post the finished product once it's baked. I want to see the meatloaf. Awesome. Um, I suppose I can put it on my Discord. Um, let me get a, a link Discord here in a moment. But my hand is dirty, so I, I can only use one hand. Let's see here. Discord. I almost forgot about my Discord. I practically did, really. In fact, if you guys want, I can uh, go wash my hand real quick. We'll the progress I've made on the crown. Wow, I really haven't used, uh, I have not used Discord in a while. Whoops. I guess. Uh, let's see here. It's okay. I, I mean, it's, I'm really just doing it so that you can see the picture after it's done. Uh, the only other thing I would say is my Facebook, but I definitely don't want to get that on onto on uh, YouTube. Um, let me go wash my hand real quick, and uh, I'll uh, show you guys some artwork. Okay, let's take a look. I right, clean up a tiny bit. And then we'll take a look at some art. shall we look at first i've got here my latest mask oh he who drinks water from jungle coconut joe what's up hey i know who you are how's it going man i'm fucking sad actually you should totally give me a call here uh in a little bit after i get off the stream i'll see how you do it <laughs> I guess you got my scent thing. I, I must have. Uh, 
take a look at this thing here. Ah. Oh, oh shit. Just doesn't want to get tagged. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, how's it going, bro? Oh, it's so good to see you guys. Nice. Oh, man. And of course, this one is uh, on the wall right here. So I finished making this strand of heady coil. This is three and four, uh, three feet four inches long. And let me give you an idea of what it looks like. So that's a wire inside. Uh, okay, so there's, it's a wire wrapped around a wire that's wrapped around a wire that has another wire wrapped in between those wires. one long strand from here to here uh that has a, a wire wrapped around it so the wire that has a wire wrapped around it is one continuous strand from end to end and uh, that is going to create the mounting for my next crown and uh, we actually already saw uh, a kind of a glimpse of what that's going to look like look black what that's going to look like uh here pretty soon let's see look at the comments <laughs> yeah oh yeah wow uh, your really intricate work uh you sell my stuff no i'm afraid i don't sell my stuff i it got too it got too hard to let the stuff go uh this is another one here and this is of course another one down there and those are really the best things i've made so far there's all kinds of stuff like my jewelry i really encourage everybody to give this a try here and i'll put a couple on uh and then i i gotta make some meatloaf i already have the oven going so we're gonna show off some this is here Maybe I can answer some questions, and uh, and then I probably have to get off the stream. For real, <laughs> where am anywhere? You know. They are. He is ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even know where to begin to make uh, like that. I usually start at the crystal, so I'll I'll put uh, uh, I'll make a ring and and do you know wire that together. And the dress, and I was like, you know what? I could totally put a mask on that. So I added a jaw and uh, a mouth and eyes, and uh, this one's the Reaper. This one's one of the more popular ones. Uh, this one actually got almost a thousand views, uh, uh, almost a thousand more views on my uh, channel just from this mask alone during the quarantine. So, you can. Yeah. There we go. That's one of my favorites for sure. And that is all weaved wire there. Hey guys. There you go. Oh. And of course, you know, I wear my trench coat with this stuff and whatnot. 
I might go to the club and show it off there. Not a big, uh, uh, my heart just isn't in jewelry, but I'm always willing to teach people how to do simple jewelry stuff so that they can maybe sort of make some money off of it. I've got a, I got all the 12 uh, obsidian that are going to be going on it. Give you an idea of what this ma uh, my next mask will look like. I actually did some of it the other day. And it looked like this. So uh, that'll give you an idea of what the next mask will look like. Freaking camera. Wow, this thing does not want to focus on this camera or this phone. Let's try that. There we go. It was just too bright, I guess. So, uh, give that, put that in uh, and just imagine it wrapped around your head. Oh, goodness. Whew. I'm sure the oven's probably done by now. We've got five people in here watching, so it's kind of always hard to leave when there are people still interested sticking around. But we got the meatloaf done. Uh, let's see, what did we write? down three pounds lemon juice three ounces sauce, 11 ounces shredded cheese it's just it's only 11 ounces because that's how much i had um yeah i like you hey yeah like my jewelry yeah i really uh um there are people who can do it really well and then there are people who can Maybe make a good piece every 10 or so. What's that on there? Ah, man, this is so frustrating. I really don't like this camera. Yeah, it's definitely one of my best, for sure. It's Pikachu's fault. Yeah. Here's another good one. Anyway, I think I am definitely hungry enough to uh, to have to head on out. And uh, I definitely encourage people to um, give this sort of thing a try. And uh, only a year ago, I was making things like this. So uh, I don't think that it's too big a deal, uh, too far-fetched an idea that you would be able to do something better than me in that amount of time. Come on, stupid fucking camera. Jesus. There we go. Wow. Whew. Leaning over. It's a real talent. You'll have to, I don't know figure out a way to to get me to do it because <laughs> I, I really uh, I've sold a bunch of stuff already and I've done a few commissions but I always miss them terribly and uh, and uh, um, it's hard to let them go that's for sure um, this one was certainly going to be my best and it is for now but uh, the next one's gonna be even better good to see you, uh, that you're doing okay mm -hmm. oh thanks man I'm glad to see you man Let's see uh, the stream for like two months straight, I was wondering. Oh yeah, I I uh, I it's stupid, but I got stuck on a I got 
I got a, a horribly addicted to a game on my phone and in and out of this uh, this box, including this bookshelf and stuff like that for my new background. Oh, I haven't seen you do a video. Yeah, it was uh, it was a hiatus. I wasn't like sick or anything like that. <laughs> I wasn't sick or anything. It was just a hiatus and a too long of a hiatus for sure. But I think when I tried to do my armor again, you guys remember the armor? I think when I tried to do the armor again, uh, it it uh, it got a little discouraging, and uh, I didn't want to continue anymore. Uh, and I just kind of used that as an excuse to just not do it anymore. Because uh, I think I'll eventually harvest these uh, amethyst, or excuse me, uh, obsidian. I'll just harvest. I'll probably keep the frame though. That way, um, that way, it'll be a frame for maybe the next time I decide to make a suit of armor. Uh, I'll do a better job, kind of thing, and then I'll also have this on. Whoa. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to let it. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna have to let you guys go. There's already uh, five whole people watching, and I, I just, uh, I gotta get going. I'm Make sure I don't flash you guys by accident. Like, oh, right, accident. Oh, well. Pervert. Ah. Yeah, I've also got the torso, uh, the arms, and the thighs. And I got around to the shin on the left leg, but uh, right around that time, I was like, screw this, it's wasting so much of my time. And uh, I had to get on just doing other things. Yeah, it was good to see you. Uh, oh, I think I might know you. Uh, great uh, to catch you live. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> please post it. I totally will. I'll try and make it look nice and pretty. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, there it is.